This right here is a fully refreshed 2022 Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. And why is that important? Well, yes, it's the most luxurious Silverado you can buy in 2022. It's refreshed because it has a new front end, new light signature, new grille, new bumper cover, but it also has a new interior and Super Cruise. This is the only Silverado truck you can get, at least now, with the autonomous, semi-autonomous driving. So let's get on the highway and see how it works. Alrighty, so as I said, the interior has been fully refreshed. You have a big screen right here in the center, about 13.4 inches. You have another digital display right here. I just put it into sport mode because that's the only way to drive. But also uh, the steering wheel right here, this has an indicator for Super Cruise. And I have a route set up and this is during the first launch event. Let me see if I clear the cones. It's really embarrassing. Yeah, okay, I did. Uh, I hit the cone in the previous one and everybody was laughing behind me. Um, I had a chance to drive the Super Cruise system before. I drove it in a uh, prototype at the GM Proving Grounds with a trailer. I also uh, sampled it in a new GMC Hummer EV truck. And in my opinion, I, I don't have a lot of experience with the Tesla system, but compared to the Ford system, their Blue Cruise compared to the Rivian Assist system and also the um, Stellantis systems. I like General, Mo I like General Motors system the best. Let me see what's under the hood. Yeah, it's a 6.2. Of course, it is the most luxurious version of the Silverado. You could also equip it with a three liter straight six turbo diesel, the Duramax which is also one of my favorite engines because uh, the efficiency and the smoothness of that diesel is incredible but if you want that sound and a, and a top-end power this is where it's at in the Silverado, the 6.2 what I was saying before I do like General Motors Super Cruise system and let's just go over what it does Super Cruise and systems like it are semi-autonomous that means the truck can drive itself on a pre-mapped highway and i'm just trying to get over towards the highway right now it has to be a pre-mapped highway so it needs to be a highway that it knows and recognizes over 200,000 miles of highway in north america and u.s have been pre-mapped and the driver still has to pay attention so the driver cannot fall asleep the driver cannot read a book the driver cannot stare at the mountain for an hour uh, there's a camera right here uh, right in the middle of the steering wheel right here on the steering column that's kind of monitoring my face and it will work at night and maybe even if I'm wearing glasses um, usually what they do is they also use infrared to kind of monitor the face of the driver and make sure the driver is keeping attention and uh, while the truck is driving and if the system determines the driver may be distracted um, it can vibrate the seat it can chime it can slow you down just to remind you that hey you need to pay attention all right i'm ready to merge i-10 is right in front of me i'm in palm springs california this is the first drive event for the new silverado lineup including the zr2 to activate super cruise I have to push the button here on the steering wheel. It looks like a little steering wheel with lane markers. And it says Super Cruise unavailable. Well, I am on the merge lane. Okay, I'm gonna push Super Cruise again. Hey, look, the steering wheel line went green. There's also a green steering wheel symbol on the dash. And now I can set my desired speed, which is 70. That's the speed limit. So let me set my desired speed. And then in theory, I can go like this. I can, my feet are not touching the pedals. My hands are not touching the steering wheel. I can go like this. My re elbows resting comfortably, but I still have to look forward. But I can also talk to you. And in theory, look, it's changing lanes by itself. 
it decided to change lanes because that van that the Connell line was way too slow and because it knows where I need to get off I need to get off in about five miles whoa it's doing it again look at this it's going into the fast lane yes <laughs> sorry I'm getting excited okay so now we're at speed limit and I felt totally comfortable there was nobody next to me so it found a good uh, area to merge it in it's doing it again it's going back towards the right and once again very safely the semi truck is way on my side he's not in this lane so this is why this system is cool first of all it doesn't bounce me in the lane I'm centered and I'm staying there by the way the markers on this highway are not super visible I don't know if you can tell but the markers are not super bright but the highway is pre-mapped high def high definition map allows the truck to know using GPS and of course cameras and radar systems what's around it and also where the highway is and now I'm, I'm I want to see what happens if I close this like this if I obscure, it started blinking. Oh, it doesn't like it. It starts to slow down. Super Cruise disengaging. No, re-engage. So that was only a few seconds. There, it's now I re-engaged it. So that was only a few seconds. I covered the sensor. It was not able to see my face. It decided something was wrong. It blinked, it vibrated my seat, and it disengaged. So the driver still has to be engaged in driving. I need to make sure that, you know, this U-Haul truck is not going to run into me. So the High Country is the only model in a Silverado lineup currently available for 2022 with this system. In theory, as time goes on, they might offer it in more trim levels as you know technology trickles down right this is a kind of a high-end option and this truck is expensive I don't have the exact price on this truck but this truck could be about 70 or a uh, thousand or above as far as its price is concerned of course it's a 6.2 it can also tow a heck of a lot and the super cruise system is enabled for towing so of course I'm not towing right now but if I was the experience would be very similar to what it is now and the system is calibrated if there's a crosswind it can compensate when towing etc 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 so it's a very clever system actually the system is still engaged I'm super cruising but I need to exit look at uh, oh it's going left I thought it was gonna go right uh, hmm does it have enough time because in theory I would have gone right towards the exit it did not it decided it could pass the semi which is fine okay half a mile left it says it's gonna change lanes it's doing it is it gonna keep going um, no so I'm going to make this maneuver myself. So technically, even though the nav system knew I needed to exit, it just felt like it wasn't going to do it. <laughs> there was a car in front of me, it didn't want to slow down. So I took over, everything was fine. So overall, I would say if I was going to go cross country on an interstate, I think for the most of it, it's it's a it's a good help because I'm a little bit more relaxed I don't have to pay attention to everything on the highway while the system is engaged um, will I use it every day in traffic well I don't, I don't know because well also sometimes I'm I want to drive I want to be engaged in driving so of course it's not a fully autonomous system as you just saw uh, GM is cooking up something else uh, beyond Super Cruise it's something called Ultra Cruise Ultra Cruise technically is their next level system that's also going to be enabled for uh, more of a city driving, more almost door-to-door, -door, not quiet door-to-door, 
cruising autonomously, but closer to door to door. So Ultra Cruise is coming maybe within a year or two. Super Cruise is here now. You can also get GMC trucks with this feature. And the GMC Hummer EV has it. So there you have it. That's my first real world taste of a Chevrolet with Super Cruise. Chevy truck, in fact. I know Chevy Bolt had it before. But uh, Chevy truck, real world, Super Cruise right there. Go back to tfltruck.com and tfl-studios.com for everything automotive. But come back to TFL Truck because that's where I am and that's where a lot of pickup truck stuff is. Thanks.